go. All right, welcome creatives and artists to the discussion on week four, and then we are gonna start week five. So, um, okay, the check-in is on page 90. We'll start with how many pages or how many days of the week did you do your morning pages? And she talks about tantrums showing up when we skip them. Um, did oh. you do an artist date list here? I think, I think I'd like to hear about some artist date. What did you do? Any experiences of synchronicity this week and other issues um, that were, that came up? This was also, I definitely want to talk about reading deprivation um, and that experience. And I want to talk about it like in the context of 2024, you know, this book was written before the internet <laughs> and before we had social media. And so I, I, I want to, I want to talk a little bit about, about that and podcasts and all of that stuff. And um, yeah, but let's start with a, with a check-in on the, you know, the, the basic principles, morning pages and artist dates, who wants to kick things off and share? I can go. I wrote every day. Yeah. Uh, really enjoying it. Even the hard stuff. Mm. And then I, I haven't done an artist date, but I'm going to do it. A, the long one today. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'm going to do, I have a caretaker for five hours. Look at you. And that's what she talked about this week, right? Yeah. Was that was one of the tasks is to think about a longer artist date. Yeah. So you have a caretaker so that you can then in turn take relax in it. Yeah. I don't have to like check the phone and worry. So, Yay. um, yeah. So I'm going to swing by that drum circle, but it's going to be so hot today. I know uh, that I, I don't know how long I'll last there, but, uh, go find some water and actually maybe throw a line in to fish. Well, I'll tell you that um, Kristen Armstrong Park is right by um, where I used to teach over at Sage International School. So I often go from the drum circle over to the river. So there's oh. lots of places. It's not, I don't think from the park that you can get directly to the river, but it's it's nearby. So um, oh, excellent. And, and lots of little areas where you can drop in and and fish. Although around that area, it is the river float as well. So I would imagine It'll be um, very busy. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of people just escaping the heat on the water today, but still yeah. just go explore and play. And yeah. it's amazing how much cooler it is in the shade by the river. On Absolutely. Yeah. And then I wanted to, I used to, in high school, I used to go up and write in Idaho City. Idaho oh. City is probably very different now. <laughs> but yeah. I thought I'd drive up there and just enjoy uh, smelling the trees. I got I got so much yeah. out of doing uh, Lake Tahoe and Donner yeah. Lake, and uh, I'm sure there's still forest there, forest and water. <laughs> it's it's really beautiful. And it's a cute little town too, and and they have that little ice cream shop. <laughs> so I always recommend if you make your way all the way, get yourself like a Huckleberry ice cream or or um something like a little treat to just I've done that before just I've gone to Idaho City had an ice cream walked around and came on home yeah. totally so that's, it. that's a good date for me I'm yeah because it's such a beautiful drive too right. such a beautiful yeah. drive have so. you ever taken the ride to Idaho City from Horseshoe Bend mm -hmm. mm. there's a little street you turn on and then it turns to dirt road for 90 percent of the way and then you come up on the back side of or the i don't know what side yeah of idaho city and a really really old cemetery and russ and i spent we were just fascinated with the cemetery um and then then yeah. we then we got to idaho city that's our first and only time we've been well, there but you you definitely need four-wheel drive to do that or no 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 it's just it's just it's a hard dirt road okay I mean, it's it's just that it's not paved but it's it's okay. very oh hard see, i might choose that way i'm glad you mentioned that because Ooh. i'm a i'm a cemetery it's, it's girl right too to i used to sit the riverside restaurant yeah. oh um, good so go, go there first go that way idaho Thanks. city centerville and placerville oh i'm so excited this sounds like such a fun artist date 
I yeah, love it. We might meet up there. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Kimber. That's awesome. Yeah. And I love um, the, how you're diving in. I, I did have a question. When, when we first started The Artist Way, you had said that you were writing the pages in a third person. Has that uh -huh. switched? It has. Mm. It has. I'm, I'm glad you asked that question. It has switched. And I was just noting that today because I went out, I go outside and write and in, in the new little meditation garden. Yay. You're going to love it. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, it's, it's my's and me's and I's and it's all in different colored pens. I don't use pencil anymore, Blythe. I'm Blythe. so ink. And do you remember that I had a real issue with using yes. ink? I was totally pencil. So oh, I am wow. totally different color pens now. Wow. Thanks to, thanks to, the, <laughs> thanks to you, Blythe. I'm, yeah, I use the color <laughs> pens. Yeah. Uh, so fun. Oh, look at that. Look at that, what? Princella. That's so fun. <laughs> <See all those laughs> oh, it does feel good, doesn't it? Yeah. Thank you. There's a Zoom did, expert. Did you know? <laughs> awesome. Congrats. Well, that is fantastic. Keep going. Keep going. Who else wants to share about morning pages, artist dates from this previous week? Sometimes it's hard to even remember. By the way, it was the week of 4th of July. So there was, that might help a little bit to nod. I can share. Um, so I did zero morning pages this week. Okay. Um, it was, it was a very, I had shared last week about how I was going to follow my intuition and go have certain conversations that I really felt led to do. Mm -hmm. And, um, so there was that. And then there was the, the busyness of this week in the campground that we're in Yeah, where we had, I had to work more. So my energy was just really, really zapped, which led me to my my um, artist date, which was to refuel, and it was yes. in bed after I got off of work and stayed in bed and woke up this morning at a at a really wonderful time and and in in relaxation i I had um, conversations in my ears that were just around intuition, just supporting that mm. that um, there's a podcast that I love listening to, and she just really talks about intuition so beautifully and I What's really enjoyed having um let me let's see so I'm always um, I will share it in here yeah that after that I will share it yeah it's a beautiful beautiful podcast about intuition and so I have that in my ears in those days that I want to just feed my brain something beautiful and that's what I did that's mm -hmm. what I did last night and then and I'm glad you asked the questions about that we're focusing on synchronicities and artist states. So I'll, I'll talk about that real quick, or unless you want to do yeah. that. In, yeah, in no, that. let's go. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. So the synchronicities were really beautiful with that, like following my intuition and speaking, even in this busy week, I'm like, no, those are the priorities. Even if I'm mm -hmm. late for where I'm supposed to be, I'm texting, Hey, I'm going to need a little bit more time. And I went to go take care of where my intuition was calling. And that was really, really important to me this week wow. with it with it being so busy, I'm like, that is the thing that I am not going to let go of, you know, is, is following that. Awesome. So I did that led to, that led to not only beautiful conversations, but feeling the connection with that person that I had to take that, that time with. And, um, the, we got to share eye to eye connection and it was a really really beautiful thing and I got to share with them from my intuition from my heart do you feel that let's just sit in this for a minute and just really feel that and it was just a really touching and deep deep uh conversation um and uh the synchronicity the synchronicity is what I'm learning in this community about the importance of connecting with what's right and correct for us to follow, mm -hmm. which, you know, um, is I'm connecting more and more with everybody having their own kind of intuition and what it feels like in the body. Right. Mm -hmm. And so there's, there's, there's that component, but the true synchronicity I think is happening with who I'm meant to 
work with, which I'm still kind of, kind of absorbing in my body. Um, so the previous camp ground was a retiree, pretty much retiree community or people that decided to disconnect from work and do camp life, RV life. Um, and then here, another connection happened with the owner on something that he wants me to help him walk through for that same population, but within the LGBT community, um, the retiree or um, change of life type of um, aspect within this community. And then I just got off a call today with someone who is also in that same space. So that's three oh. synchronicities that were happening in the same like oh, over the same demographic. Oh, oh wow. Like the same demographic. Yeah, like do you feel audience, like then you're yeah. being called or pointed in that direction? Is that? So we'll see how my intuition con continues to lead me. And um, I feel like there's still space to connect there, you know? Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. I think that's so cool. And, it, and it's kind of the opposite of what we've been taught, or at least that I feel where it's like, when we slow down <laughs> when we intentionally slow down because we feel that right you're you're you keep talking about your intuition your intuition is telling you to slow down have this conversation it's going to be okay if you're late especially if you're you have the courtesy and the forethought to be like hey i'm going to be delayed on on the next thing but when we actually slow down and give that breathing space how much more can come together quickly, efficiently, effectively in the flow, yeah. synchronous, synchron I can't make that into an adverb, <laughs> synchronous, <laughs> to Lee, <laughs> synchronous so, okay, anyhow, I, I, I defer to y'all to put that into an ad <laughs> adverb, we'll create a word, yeah, um, that's really yeah. great. That's really great. And then as far as the morning pages, is that just um, a matter of like responding to your, your body? And I know as a human design person, that is like an, a really essential part of, of the practice. Is it um, mm -hmm. that your body was just tired this week and you needed to prioritize your rest over um, mm -hmm. making the time to either get up early because sometimes that is what's required on a busy week is that we wake up a little bit earlier and it's like oh <laughs> I don't want to wake mm -hmm. up um, so mm -hmm. I'm wondering if it's if it's that or were you starting to notice other thoughts come up because that can also sometimes it's important to to distinguish, am I, am I doing self-care or am I pushing away something that I don't want to see? Yeah, that's such an important question. No, I, I, I feel like, um, my body really knows, you know, my body yeah. tells me I'm like, oh yeah, when I wake up in the morning, um, it's, um, it's very natural at this point. Okay. No, I still need more rest. <laughs> that's not yeah. that's not going to happen right now and and it's going to be okay whatever whatever is going on around it um yeah so it's very it's very in touch and in line my body is at this point with the type of rest I need and when I need it mm -hmm. um so yeah awesome yeah yeah and there was a day too where I did you know I did have time and space after waking up and pulled out my journal and um I got as far as the date. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and then so celebrate. So right now I turned it into <laughs> dash seven. I'm going to take some notes today. Now that I'm feeling refueled today, yeah. um, I'll be able to make some notes in there with just some thoughts of the week. I think and I think yeah. is what I'll do with this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that, that's yeah. great. I've done that sometimes <laughs> too. It's like, I wrote a sentence and then it's like, well, <laughs> something else called and it's it's okay i mean because it it happens and yeah. the, the the bigger question is to ask why 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 is this happening am i pushing it away or is am i just prioritizing something else right now and we'll come back to it um later yeah yeah and it's definitely it was definitely the culmination of using my energies towards where I was calling into it, yeah. being called intuitively and the pressure of working more when I'm, <laughs> yeah. so this morning, also on that note, I sent a text to the manager and I set, set stronger boundaries uh, on it, you know, 
Yeah. Sorry, we lost people, but this is the most I can do. This is my capacity. So I sent that to him this morning and, and he's good with that. So that's good. That was good too. Good. That probably feels good. Awesome. It did. It felt amazing. Yay. Yay. <laughs> yay. Yay. Any artist date? Did you, did, did I miss? My artist date was yesterday, just allowing myself to oh, go that's to right. bed and that's stay right. in bed listen to my podcast that's that's like that's such a cancerian um you know we just had the cancer new moon on friday night and cancer is all about wrapping yourself in self-love nurturing yourself it's like home family self-care nurturing so that's very um intuitively aligned with with lovely luna and her beautiful yay princella thank yay. you Who's next? Who would like to check in on their week? I will. All right. Great, Karen. Hi. Hi. I I wrote every day. I wrote three pages. And uh, I wrote my artist dates, quote unquote, were like walking or going to coffee shop to write. That's about as much as I could do. And... Uh, I don't know what else I can do for an artist date right now. It's really hot here, and it is so. But I did write. Great, great, and and it sounds like you kind of combined the two also to mm -hmm. go to like seek out a coffee shop or seek out a place by the river and use that to write. Like that's a right. That's a great combination. I think that that's it's very inspiring to sometimes write from a different location. Right. Um, yes. Um, so you're in, you're in Eugene, Oregon, Oregon. In Eugene, Oregon. And it's hot there as well, huh? It's Yeah. It's, it was over a hundred yesterday and it's 99 today. It's going to be, but yeah. I mean, I lived in Boise for many years. I know <clears throat> how hot it is there too. Yeah. It's but about the same. Yeah. Here there's more humidity and the last couple of days, been drier which makes it cooler yeah but when the humidity's up it's really you just it's hard to get out <clears throat> i was gonna say i recognize many of the places you're talking about i've been to that yeah, pioneer cemetery in idaho city oh. and been up there a number of times i would really recommend the hot springs for mm -hmm. something fun to do there oh that, good idea uh, yeah, well, that's oh. super fun. Is that yeah. like Ter Terrace Lakes Hot Springs? Up no, there? no, or other it's one? at Idaho City. Oh, it's called the Springs. Oh, that one, the Springs. I have not been there yet. I've heard. You have uh, it? Oh, yeah. I, I haven't been. I've. I. It's been on my radar for a long time, but, but I do think that's one that you need a reservation for these days. It's getting pretty. Yeah, it is. Popular, uh, but... Yeah, I mean, I lived that's in a great Boise. idea for us. Uh, yes. Yeah since 1981 and uh in the early days at hot springs it was like seven dollars a person it had a sand bottom we took our kids oh, there i went cross-country skiing and then maybe swimming then it was closed for about 10 years somebody bought it it took a long time for them to get the money to remodel it and open it now it's like a spa and yes, you can get a massage you can get food they'll bring you uh drinks in the mm. inside the pool <clears throat> there's music at night so it's a totally different experience it's much more expensive and at first i thought i'm not going to do that because it's too expensive but as a spa it is if that's what you're looking for it's wonderful so that's awesome that's a great that is a great way to spend a long that 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 extra long artist date something like yeah. that yeah and i've heard it's more like quote unquote like bougie these days so that, yeah that that's how that. it is yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah oh cool thanks karen so, any synchronicities or other issues that have no i definitely am against not reading i mean i <laughs> i don't see how you can live and not read I think mm -hmm. in order to, quote, find your voice, you need to read, you need to see what other people have done. So I disagree with the author on that, but I do agree with doing all this free writing. Mm. 
We'll see what happens with that. Okay. So did you, um, well, we'll go, we'll go to reading deprivation later. Uh -huh. We'll talk about that. Okay, great. Yeah, that's it. Good, good, good. And then also just in terms of like thinking about like cool ways, like literally like cool temperature wise ways to do an artist date is it could be fun to consider going, taking yourself to a movie, um, something. And mm. I have no idea what's playing, but summertime usually has some movies and sometimes they even play like, um, I know that we have a theater here that plays old movies that, you know, are 25 years old and they're playing them in the theater. Um, uh, that was the one idea that came up, but if anybody else has an idea for like, how do you escape the heat and do something that's perhaps outside of the, of the home? And it's not just always the same, like, um, same thing. So if you have any, we could, we can use the chat for that or feel free to share. That's because an idea. I think, yeah. I, I think we're all in the, I mean, all of us in Boise, Princella, what's it like out there in Michigan? So it's like um, low 70s right now. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, today it's pretty comfortable. We went for a walk this morning. Yesterday it was, uh, yesterday it was a little bit cooler, uh, even though it was in the same, about the same temperature, but the oh, sun no. today is making it hotter today, but yeah. Okay. Lovely. Yeah. That, is, that sounds lovely. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Mama, would you like to check in? I guess I better. <laughs> Definitely. Um, I should have taken notes too, because the, the brain is a little scattered today, but um, I did write every day. Yay. One day was half a page and every other day was three pages. So and can I confess that my notebook is kind of small and I that's, love writing in it. <laughs> well, that, and that's what makes the difference that you love writing in it. Yeah. So I, I get the up size I, matter, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> okay and then <laughs> um and I think in my my busyness this week I I don't think I took an artist state unless you consider purging a room to great satisfaction an artist date well That's it Interesting because she, it is actually one of the tasks of this week. Task eight says open your closet, which is literally what you, you were in that closet, throw oh. out or hand out or donate. She talks specifically about one low self-worth um, item outfit mm -hmm. oh, yeah. um, to make space for the new. So she was talking more about our personal clothing closet, but, um, but is it, you know, did I, I think a lot of what the artist state is, is was it a joyful experience? How about enlightening experience? Okay. I came upon things mm. from way back when, when, such as a letter I wrote to a, and, and how I got it back, I don't know, to a person with whom I had a relationship in the 60s. And I wrote him a letter in the '90s, and um, I have it back with a with a bit of a response. And that was like, wow, why do I have this? How did, how, hmm. why, where, what? Um, anyway, um, so I'd say it, it was. It's been. It, it's it's been very very satisfying. Okay, and, and it, in a positive way i mean some okay. stuff you can just dump and and it's just got to get through and other stuff is like it's just been a, kind of a wow adventure yeah yeah i think the things that like in my mind that could make it feel more like an artist date is if you really take it to the next level with either music putting on your bach your beethoven vivaldi and you know some lemonade or iced coffee or I mean, a glass of wine, probably not so much because I have a feeling you're doing this. For, I mean, but that. you know, you do you. <laughs> it's nice cold water. Oh, yeah. my, my my drink of choice in a time like that is uh, diet tonic water. There you go. And yeah. Drink my but that just ri oh. it, it ritualizes it a little bit more. It makes it feel a little bit more. And sometimes that's what's necessary just to do it. But you, you, you're on this big 
mission right now. And I think it's awesome. And it's, it's been, I, I, I afterwards it's going to feel so good and it feels good while I'm mm-hmm. going around breaking things up and wondering why, why is this in this room? And why is that? And I have thrown, I do have a discard pile for, for fortunate people who yeah. can have what I don't need. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. not clothing, but it's, it's, it's stuff. So Thanks. that's great. Um, that's it. That's it. I wrote, I wrote every day. I did that. If I'm going to call that an artist stage because it really has been cleansing and relax, yeah. relaxing in a warped way. Yeah. Yeah. And it feels good. It feels, it feels so. very good. Yeah. And awesome. I know how hard that is to go through your stuff. We moved last September and it's really difficult to get that kind of energy and to throw things away and figure out what you don't need. It's so if you did that, I think that's great. It's um photo worthy too, parts of the time. Like look at this, look at this floor space. It has nothing on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. 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 I'd love to add something to that. Uh, one is that you reminded me of when I was listening to the to the book, you reminded me of the task that I really looking forward to doing, which is writing to my 80 year old self, but also mm-hmm. writing to my eight year old self. Yeah. I yeah, want to yes. do both. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And um, and then back to the purging. Uh, comment. Um, I think I shared with you all about that phase of transitioning to RV life. We were both really ready to let things go, but we're also slowly accumulating right now too. And so we're like, okay, so the end of our time here, we're going to have to decide what are we going to get rid of now on our next drive, which is fine. I, I'm, I think I'm okay with accumulating a little bit while we're in one space and then deciding again, what are we going to let go of? Yeah. Yeah. That feels good. That feels right. Just like listening to that, that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and then, and then that movement that you're doing, how, how long do you typically stay in one place or what's your, what's your, your intention with this campground, for example? So we'll be here till the end of October because that was their request to stay. But I think I, I would have preferred maybe to leave um, beginning of October, but at the same time, my daughter, one of our daughter's birthdays is, well, actually my, my son's birthday is the end of October. My daughter's is the beginning of November. So it really, it really works as far as our family climate wise. I'd rather be back in Arizona, (laughs) but, but it's definitely working and fitting. Um, but the other campground, we were there for three months. So this one will be here longer, about a month longer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And, and and that's a good, that's a good rhythm, but it's, it is very easy once you, you know, I've been in my house now for, for two years and I, I can already start to see like that accumulation. It does, it just, mm-hmm. it just slowly. And now, you know, because I, I love it. I love thrifting. That is also, that's one of my favorite artist dates to go to consignment stores or thrift stores with no, no necessarily a, an expectation for what's going to be found. But um, sometimes I find something that's so awesome. And I'm like, I literally have no room on my walls. So either some things need to come down and rotate out or yeah. 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 accumulation game um well i'll check in real quick i did i did the morning pages most days the one day i didn't do it i was surprised about was on july 5th it was on the new moon um and i thought i was going to write later in the day but i i just i didn't i uh i didn't do it in the morning and part partially that's because i was preparing for the new moon circle and i just wanted to make Sure. I just decided that morning, I was like, you know, I want a visual, I want to start doing visuals um, because new moons are virtual. So I I opted to make a, a slideshow, just something small, but just to kind of guide it through that way, which is a different way than how I have been doing it. Um, so I know I was doing that instead. Um, and then like this morning, same thing. I wrote maybe a page and a half 
but you know, I've got the big notebook. <laughs> you have bigger handwriting than I do. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Um, but I, you know, I think I wrote for maybe 15 minutes or so. And, and then Jasper was really energetic this morning. And I decided it would be best while it's still cool to get up, get him exercised and just recap. Um, so and I and I think I'll go back to writing a little bit more today at the end of um, the drum circle and all of that later today. But as far as artist date, I uh, I think I took it yesterday. I went down to the river, but um, I have a friend who lives right by by the river. And last time I visited, I took a lime scooter and I parked it across the street, and then uh, it was still there. <laughs> so. I grabbed the Lime scooter yesterday and I got a day pass. So it's $5 and 99 cents. You can use it all day. And I just, I, I play this game called most interesting path where you get there and I look right and I look left, which way looks better. And then I just follow that direction. And, um, it was so fun. I didn't, I didn't even have music in my ears, which is unusual for me. I was just listening to, the people and, um, you know, the green belt was a little bit crowded, but I, I drove it in a direction that I don't normally go. And so I was seeing all these, um, condos that have come up along the river and then out of nowhere, there is this beautiful wooden swing. So if you're on social media, um, I posted, uh, an Instagram or on Instagram and Facebook, a little reel this morning, which just I was so delighted <laughs> to find that uh -huh. swing because it was hot yesterday. And then it was in the shade. I sat on it. And I just swang for the longest time and, uh, enjoyed that. And then, um, walked down, there was a little path. And once again, you can go this way or that way. And I went this way and, it was an all sandy path. So I had my shoes off and I just put my feet in the water and um, it was, and just watched people and listen to people splashing and playing. And some people are kayaking, some people are paddle boarding. And it was just a nice reminder that um, like, I love where I live and I love uh, just, you know, the opportunity to, to get out and, and, it wasn't very long. I was, I was probably maybe an hour, um, after I dipped my foot in it. Cause then I like, was like, I hope nobody took my scooter <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and they didn't. And so I just went back up and then I put in my music and, uh, made my way back to my, my friend's house. And it was, um, it was just, it was so fun. And as I was writing, I was like, I, I love it. I didn't have, I can't think of any synchronicities that I had this week, um, necessarily. Um, but I did really enjoy, I, I did really enjoy just taking that, uh, ride and, and particularly because I'm experiencing right now a little bit of, I think it's sciatica, my, um, along my right side, that's where I had foot surgery several years ago. And, um, every now and again, my foot flares up, but it's like my right butt cheek, it hurts. And so like the scooter was great. So I could still be out and not walking on it. Um, and it was just delightful. It was so beautiful. Um, and I think, and that was, that was that. So again, I feel like I do, I often do the same thing, but I'm also like, it's because I love it. I love being by the river. And I love that new stretch of, of garden city that I'm, uh, exploring a little bit more. And it was just lots of fun to be on that lime scooter and just be like, <laughs> where, where are you? You're the, the new place near garden city or yeah, I'm, I'm in Boise proper. I'm, um, but if you, if you go straight down, so I'm, I'm right on Hill and 36 Collister. Oh, okay. I mean, not 36, so Collister is closer. So just on the outskirts there. But if you just go in, you know, um, it's not too far to get over to Quinn's Pond. Uh, and that's where, that's like my jumping off point for a lot. Um, this was really fun. Really fun. Yeah, I have a really good friend who lives on Collister right around there. Oh, really? I've Maybe spent a lot of time over there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you've probably been nice. by my house without. <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah, you well, it wasn't my house at the time, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so that's that's the neck of the woods where I. Okay. Where I hang my hat, 
Um, yeah, so synchronicity, yeah. Um, I did want to just, let, let's just talk a little bit about reading deprivation and then the bit, the bulk of the, the, um, of week four was on these honest changes. And she talks about that word. Okay. Like just saying, how are you doing? Like, I'm okay. I'm fine. And like diving deeper into that. And she talks about the word Kriya, the Sanskrit word, meaning a spiritual emergency or surrender. And I really resonated with this when she said, this is page 81. Um, <laughs> you just read my mind. Yeah. yeah on the Kriya. I yeah. know uh, that uh, the page number. I was oh, like, oh, where is that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That you, yeah. Um, at the very bottom, I put, we all know what a Kriya looks like. It is a bad case of the flu right after we've broken up with, you've broken up with your lover. It's the rotten head cold and bronchial cough that announces you've abused your health to meet an unreachable work deadline. It's, you know, the asthma attack out of nowhere when you're just done with caretaking for your alcoholic sibling. That's a Kriya too. Yes. And so, and, and, and it like this idea of surrender, I feel like I keep coming back to this and it's a little bit gentler, but back in February, when I was working on launching something, this same foot, I developed a pretty severe case of plantar fasciitis where I was limping all around. Uh, we took that trip mom to San Francisco for, um, for wow. Anika's memorial service. And I came home from that and I just couldn't, I literally couldn't walk it. It was excruciating pain and it was a call to surrender. It was like, I was out of alignment and I needed to get back. And I kind of feel like the sciatica that's coming up right now is similar. Like there's a Kriya, there is a surrender. There is a pay attention because maybe how you're envisioning things is, is too limited and, you need to let go of that and allow space for something bigger to come in. Um, does anybody else resonate with that concept of Kriya and the need for surrender as we're making changes? Yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm surrendering a lot. Um, and then the whole, I'm okay. I'm fine. Is that pretense really resonates with me because I I'm the put on the happy face person you know yeah, we and talked about that a bit at the moon circle right yeah 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 like I'm okay I'm good um yeah autopilot without really answering the question yeah and it becomes it does it definitely becomes an autopilot thing like this is my response how are you I'm I'm okay I'm good yeah yeah so that. I'm that tough surrender is yeah I'm all about surrender these days uh to the emotion because there's a lot of emotion with this uh mm -hmm. surrender and and be okay with it mm -hmm. and be really thankful for it actually because you know that processing needs to be done to heal so yes I'm in it I'm in it to win it you're in it to win it yes yeah I'd love to add to that, Kimberly, and I apologize, I'm off camera right now, but um, I would love to add that Cute there's picture. the, <laughs> thanks, there's the autopilot, but then there's also an actual belief from our brain that we are okay, you know, mm -hmm. like we say okay. it, like, I am, I am okay, I'm fine, you know, and, mm -hmm. um, and I think that when we tap more into the body, uh, that we start to open up the pathways of allowing the connection between the bodily angst and the um, uh, the belief that that pain is a physical um, health issue. When actually, sometimes, most times, if we can allow ourselves to get there, we discover that it's actually a manifestation, as Andrea said manifestation of the things that we're going through that's showing up in the body and where we need to yeah, yeah. heal and, and take care. Yeah. And I think it's a really, really important distinction because um, it's real. Pain is real. Pain is yes. a physical thing and it's hard 
it's hard to wrap our brain around that it actually is connected to whatever whatever it is, you know, uh, whatever it is that you have most recently gone through, or even something that you went through a month ago. And for some people, it will take time to actually show up in the body because it's a gradual thing sometimes, or sometimes it's a smackdown, you know. Yeah. 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 Thank no, you. That's, yeah, thank you. That it and it brings up that it's been a, a survival technique for me as well. Mm -hmm. I am okay. I'm gonna go I'm gonna get through this. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, but thank you. That calls that calls my attention to that because I've been surviving that way for a little while. Uh and I am okay. And the processing is good going through this and processing uh to actually heal. It's, it's interesting. Um, I had a book fall off the shelf this morning. I love that. Spontaneous Healing, Dr. Wheel. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm like, uh, okay, universe. When I start reading, I'm, I'm jumping into that book. Uh, but yeah, and that's kind of how my synchronicity works is spirit will just hit me at the side of the head to get my attention. Mm. The perfect time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause you get in survival mode and you just keep going and I'm pausing more mm -hmm. and Jeez. noticing and, and starting to put myself first, which is really appropriate. Yeah. 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 Thanks. Really lovely. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Thank you, Priscilla. That was a good note to get <laughs> underneath that. Um, I'm okay. It's survival, but it, yeah, it is. Yeah. Does yeah. it need to be auto response? Yeah. Yeah. It's that slowing, slowing down also, right? Like to, to get out of the autopilot there, there has to be something that either stops you. And I am uh, learning to ask for gentler lessons. And this is what I just, um, right before we got on the call, I posted my most recent, um, story called my journey back to joy three essential lessons and and the third lesson is how to avoid the biggest obstacle that gets in the way of living the life that you desire and it is exactly this it's it's that surrender it is the letting go of of what you cannot control or foresee or even just understanding that there is like if you ask for something, if there's something that you want to bring about in your life that you are desiring, whether it's a health change, a relationship, a job, a, a whatever it is, once you ask them, it has been received. And the only thing that gets in the way of it is ourselves. One, having that receiving hand, that allowing, which for me is, uh, well, for all of us, it's the left side of our body. So paying attention to left versus right side, the left side is our feminine side. It is our receptive side. And I've had this shoulder pain on my left side and my left arm has been tingling a lot lately. So I, I don't know. I think I'm activating my receptive side, but it is literally getting out of our own way of how we think it is supposed to go. And I, I'm learning that I have very strong opinions about how I think things are going to go or ought to go. And then the universe will be like, sometimes it forces me and like this, like this physical pain that I'm feeling right now on, on my right. Again, it's like my right butt cheek um, is, is like, I'm paying attention because I don't want to be bedridden. I don't want to have like that complete Kriya experience and instead just be like, okay, something's a little, something's off here. And I've got, I've got to allow space to, um, to be able to listen to what messages might be like how it's supposed to pivot or shift or, um, what I'm working on might not be the way it might not manifest the way that I thought it would. And typically it manifests in an even more creative and more beneficial way than I would have imagined. So I'm sitting with, with that when I look at this honest changes, it's like, okay, here I, I, cause it's the same, it's the same freaking lesson. <laughs> it's the same thing. I just keep repeating patterns. So Yeah. 
Yeah, and there's so much in in human design too, as far as um, the patterns that we keep that we keep um, repeating. Yeah, and the um, uh, when we look at where you're defined, mm. that's where like we're like this is my belief and this is how I do it, and sometimes it could be influenced by conditioning that in, and then and then something was instilled in our defined areas. Mm. Um, and then the awareness as you're walking through the awareness, um, comes in to shift those hardcore areas of strong beliefs and, and realizing, wait a minute, is that really working for me or is it right. not working right. for me? Yes. Yeah. 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 And, 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 and being okay. Like, I feel like I've had enough hard lessons on, on that because I mean, I'm still learning clearly, like I'm still like repeating patterns, but I know I'm noticing it a little bit sooner and I'm paying attention and, and making small shifts, but, uh, yeah, to undo, cause I've got a defined head and Ajna, um, where it's just like, I feel yeah. like I know everything. <laughs> yeah. Do you, yeah, yeah. You know what? And that's really important too, because even though you have a, a defined head in Ajna, that will still come up in other areas wherever we haven't defined. And so, yeah, your your head in Ajna is also supporting that, mm. <laughs> supporting that as well. But um, yeah, yeah, working through it. Um, <laughs> okay, what about some of these? Uh, did you look at the the buried dreams exercise? List five hobbies that sound fun. Five classes that sound fun five things you personally would never do that sound fun, five skills that would be fun to have, five things you used to enjoy doing, and five silly things that you would try once. That's on page 86. Right there. Did anybody play with those those buried I, dreams. I played with it a little bit and getting on the scooter and riding around like the green belt. And that's mm -hmm. one of the things on my list to do. Yeah. That, like something that so you would. Fun. That, yeah, that would be stepping out of my normal, you know, boundaries. But uh, yeah, I saw, I, I saw this woman yesterday. So it was a group of three women walking and one one woman was trying the scooter with her other two friends behind her. And you could see that she, it was new. And when I scooted past her, I was like, yay. <laughs> Cause I, like, <laughs> I could tell that she was like trying it new, but was also excited about it, but also like, Ooh, what is this thing? Yeah, doing? exactly. Okay. So that's not, that's something that sounds fun. Yep. Great. Jumping out of an airplane. I've always wanted to do that. Could do that. I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but that would be exciting, wouldn't it? Yeah, I wonder if for me that falls under five things you would personally never do that sound <laughs> fun. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm going back and forth with that one. Mm, okay, okay, that's a good one. Jumping out of a plane. What about bungee jumping? I I don't think I'd ever want to do that. Mm -mm. Parasailing, yeah. I would do that again. I've done it once. And that's where you're behind the boat and, and you just yeah. slowly lift up with the, um, you just have a parachute. It feels like you're flying. I did that once a long, long time ago. I would do that or hang gliding. Right. Mm. Oh, wow. Thrilling. Hmm. Any, anybody else? That's Classes cool. that sound fun, hobbies that sound fun. I, I still have macrame on my list. Oh, nice. I, yeah. I would love, cause I love, I love like the macrame plant holders and the wall hangings. And I know it's just like tying knots, <laughs> but maybe I'll bring my little macrame kit with me. I'm going on vacation on, um, Tuesday. So, uh, I remember it fondly. Yeah. 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 Right. Let's see what I put on here. Anybody else that something comes to top of mind? Again, this is page 86. I remember I made notes. Let's see. What, who? Go ahead, whoever. Okay, okay I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep going. Um, yeah. I listed five hobbies that sound fun. Um, 
that I haven't done. I, um, cooking, dancing, gardening. I put down stamping twice <laughs> at, the <laughs> at the end. Um, can't read my writing. C A, the heck is that? Um, language, foreign language. I love learning languages. Not that I. Well, I I think not that I utter them out. You're yes. going to have a great chance to immerse in your German language skills in I'm, a couple I'm weeks. I'm going to be getting back into that. Um, and the things that I would never do is one is skydiving. Mm. And mountain climbing and cliff climbing. Oh. Put them both. I, no desire to do. <laughs> you know, and I, I think maybe because it's too exhaustive. Cliff cliff climbing is a little scary, I think. That's, oh gosh, you know, yeah. when you're, you, you put the. Rock, well, what what about even like in a um sometimes there's those rock wall gyms and stuff like that i know bogus basin um one of the uh mystical moon membership dates that we're gonna have i think it's the end of july that i've scheduled is to go up to bogus basin for they're having an idaho day with um music and wine and all the things but they do have a rock wall hmm. uh, they also have a ropes course they also have the mountain coaster, all kinds of fun things. So it's just, just simmer, simmer on that, simmer on that. I, I could do that kind of a wall, perhaps. Okay. If, if I could, I, I would. Would they really bungee you? No reason I couldn't. Okay. So some language stuff as well. Would anybody um, ever do or has ever done scuba diving? No. No. Swimming with dolphins. I did that. That was incredible. I would highly recommend that. I've done that a couple of times. Uh, yeah, they're very perceptive. Yeah, they have my number, man. Intelligent. <laughs> yeah, very perceptive. Very cool. That that would be fun. Mm -hmm. In nice, comfortable water, not cold water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Five silly things you would like to try once. What did I put for that? That's funny. I have I put nothing there. I didn't have silly things. Well, I have this friend who, um, Kelly McCarthy, who uh, always talks about what she would love to do. <laughs> she wants to rent those um, those big inflatable costume dinosaur costumes to, to <laughs> put on a dinosaur costume and go down to her wharf she lives in a small town and and have big lollipops to hand out to people and wow. I'm like that would be an example of something silly right and and that is her whole point is just like you know, we, why do we take life so seriously? Put on a dinosaur costume and just go dance on the corner. And I'm like, one of these days, I know it's going to happen. And I will probably be the the dinosaur next to her or the girl in a tutu with the 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 wands. But it's the, you know, the, it, the idea is just to think about like, yeah, like, how can we lighten up our our perception of what life is supposed to be because we're at a certain age? Exactly. Very dream. Good one. Good one. Yeah. Um, so if you didn't play with that, that's a fun one to, to think about. And it's also a great one to guide you in thinking about artist dates, like five classes that sound fun like maybe a card making class, maybe you, maybe you join one. There happens to be one at Potter Wines on July 14th. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> and there's a fantastic teacher. He should come on, come on out to Boise, Priscilla and Karen and take one of mama's card classes, but a card class, or maybe it's a language class. Uh, I always talked about belly dancing and I did take a belly dancing class over over winter and I would like to to do that again um a different maybe a different teacher but um it, it just just something fun it's a type of dance I've never done I I love dancing but um those those ideas turn into great um great concepts for even a painting class or a ceramics class um or a ceramic painting date it would, it would be fun to go to a dancing class that would take you 
I, I don't know if it'd be preceded by three glasses of wine or what, but that would take you out of your shell to get mm. you dancing. Cause so I, I don't. So there is um, it, the, like salsa dancing. I know at Ocho's downtown on Friday nights, they often have a class and then, and then the dance floor is opened up to like, then you can practice it, but you can learn some basic moves and then practice. So that's fun to do um, by yourself or with a partner. And maybe we can, we can talk about that. It's yeah, <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. If you, if you'd like to do line dancing with me, I'm doing a, a line dancing class Thursday mornings at one o'clock. Uh, I saw and Don with, uh, at the senior center. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. That's really fun. I've been taking my dad to the senior center for dances oh. and, uh, and these, oh, these incredible people are doing all this ballroom dancing and line dancing oh. and they're like 85 90 years old and they're just eloquent How so fun. I said, oh yeah I want to do that <laughs> oh that's great that's right wow. and then the first one is line dancing so Blythe if you'd like to go Thursday at one we're doing line depends dancing on, depends on what Thursday it is if it's not the first it's or third Thursday Okay. Uh, it's every Thursday. And I uh, committed to uh my mom's best friend wanted to do it. She goes, uh, will you do it with me? I said, absolutely. She's only 89. Um, oh but, yeah. So I'm all in with that. Oh my gosh, I love that. But I'm yeah. thinking, I think I think for the first one we're going to is this coming this next Thursday. I've got oh, to get my calendar off. Wow. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'll remind so you. We'll see if you want to go. Let's let's talk. Let's the okay, and, good. We'll and, talk. And, and as in pull me off of my butt. Uh, make you got it. it. Yes, as long as it's not the first or third. And you'll be and a spring so, chicken okay. out there, Mama. You got I, it. I, I, baby, the baby lady. We'll, we'll learn how to line dance first, and oh, then we'll go into the ballroom. Oh, but that's it's just fun. Eloquent, that's and these guys are having so much fun out there. Oh, I'll bet. They're just twirling around. And, well, that's oh the gosh. music of their era, too. I mean, that's their... Exactly. Yeah. It probably brings back dance party memories and stuff like that. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, but I got to go. So yes. Okay. So Time is up. Anyhow, we will nice uh, see, you. see you in the polo and next week. Okay. Thanks. Same place. All right. Bye, Karen. Bye. Bye. All right. Yeah, that's a perfect segue just to, to wrap up. Week five has some um, really um, some really cool uh, things on the virtue trap. I'm like, oh, my goodness. I have um, I I have I've been there. I have definitely fallen. Where is this? I've definitely fallen into the uh, virtue trap. So pretty interesting. Um exercise or um essay to to hear about reading deprivation is over which thrills me because i am going to now finish eat pray love i am in bali where i get to finally go and <laughs> i love uh, perfect timing as i set out for a week of vacation uh ahead of me so um, we will continue to converse in um, in Zoom land. Um, I mean, not Zoom land, Marco Polo. So we could do that and um, have a great week. Read as much as you want. <laughs> and maybe today, take a look at your calendar, look at what's coming up this week and Find a pocket of time where you're just put in an artist state. Maybe it's uh, an hour, two hours, perhaps it's the whole day thing, but um, pen it in, not pencil it in. I know what I'm going to do. So, oh, you do? I, do you want to share? Yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm having spoken about Idaho City. I'm going to go take the the road up and go to. I've always wanted to go left and go to Placerville and see what's there. And I think there's absolutely almost nothing there but I want to see it. And that's Ooh. the kind of wandering I like to do. It's like my, the end of the, um, yeah, the, the gorge thing that I had last week, the, um, adventure. Oh, yeah, your exploration uh, with the miners. Well, I, yeah. Um, taking a road, 
from where we were to to Avamore. It was about a ten mile road, and it was just it was just fun, just going farther and farther, unknown, 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 and and they come out and it's ah! so <laughs> love and, it. And, I, I think I'm I I would just love to do that. And I want to sneak off because because he'll want to come with me and I want to go alone. Well, yeah. Well, and you could just say I'm going on an artist date. I'm yeah. I'm going out on a date. I'll be back. Guess where I went? <laughs> awesome. So I would well, be safe. Oh, I I will. I will. I I am. Okay. We'll see how the week goes. But that well, I I would like to pull it in before it gets away from you and you know yeah and yeah. my other artist state would be to get my butt down to the river and because i've not mm-hmm. done that alone yeah and I need to do that oh those are good those are good events yeah. yeah and then you reminded me i need to join the rock and mineral club because i i want to start going on those digs and ah, right. you and just I, you have to uh, we'll talk yes we'll, 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 we'll join talk. the museum Yes, you'll talk when you guys are at line dancing. While we're dancing, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop the record. Have a beautiful week, everybody. Bye. Thank I you for your sharing. Yeah. Our check-in <laughs> next time. All right. Aww.